Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video of Benny where we're going to go through a little bit of his 30 days in training. So I apologize that I didn't post videos as he was going through his stuff, but he actually wrapped up his training in uh, August. He did uh, one month of training and so this video clip here is his first ride. So he's starting off with Ali riding and Emily doing some leading. And of course we have a bunch of groundwork and stuff that we do to prep the horses before we get to this part. And he is um, just doing his first little ride there. So she's keeping it pretty small. He goes for a little walk and it's going to get a little cookie. And we do all of the other pieces where we lean on them. They get the cookies from us just sitting on them and all that kind of stuff that I've showed you guys in other videos. And then here is a video clip. This is me leading Allie. And I noticed that he was a little bit tight in his hind end. So what I'm doing is just walking him in a small circle, waiting for him to cross those back legs under, which helps with some relaxation and just kind of letting loose in his body. And you can see this was earlier in the um, summer because it is before my baby popped. But, so this would have been pretty close towards the end though, uh, getting close to when when my little one popped out. So uh, just doing a little bit of groundwork there. He gets his little cookies and then here doing the other side, kind of walking the small circles, waiting for him to cross those back legs a little bit, getting him to reach under and just kind of let loose in his body a little bit more. It just helps with a little bit of that relaxation. And that was all part of the same session and just letting him get a little bit more comfortable. We always want the first ride to just be super positive, super rewarding. We don't want the horse to even think about doing anything like bucking, nothing like that. And then here is progressing in his training and starting to do some walking steering and doing some trotting and stuff like that. And you might be wondering what's going on with that tail? Why does he have such a little bob tail? So I'm not actually sure. I guess it was cropped. The lady who bought him is the same owner that had Huxley. There's little Miss Evelyn going for a little ride while Benny's going around doing his stuff. And I believe she kind of got them as a package deal together. I don't really know the full story, but he is a draft cross. So I'm assuming that it was cut. His tail was cut as part of being a draft horse. So unfortunately, he's got this tiny little tail. And no, it will never kind of grow to be a full length tail because he's actually missing the tail bone. It's actually been cropped his tailbone. Normally a tail, a horse's tail is much longer. Like just the tailbone itself is much longer. So you can see Benny is a bit of a lazy little bugger. So Allie here is doing some trots with him. And her goal here is she's trying to get him to do some trots and go past the gate and do a bit of a full circle. So this is him progressing in his riding training to be able to do longer stretches of trot. And you can see he's wanting to slow down there and kind of say, hey, aren't we done yet? And Allie's just kind of pushing him on forward a little bit and asking him to try a little bit harder, a little bit longer, starting to develop that work ethic there. He, he trips and he's like, oh, we could stop, you know? She's like, no, like we keep going a little bit more and asking him to stretch out and go. So even though him and Huxley kind of came together and they're similar bred horses, Betty is significantly different. He's a little bit more lazy than Huxley was. Huxley was much more energetic and tended to kind of really get forward. If anything, he was maybe a little bit harder to stop and we had to work on getting him soft. Whereas Benny is very slow. Look at him. He's trying to ask for a cookie because he put one foot on the tarp. So he says, can't I have a cookie, please? And Allie's saying, no, you have to go all the way across the little tarp before you can have your, your cookie. So she's being patiently persistent here. And Huxley was different. He was kind of a go-getter on the obstacles, just kind of went over everything. Benny, more cautious. <laughs> more timid of new things than Huxley was. So he's just going to take a little bit longer to train certain things. So different personalities gives uh, different results in the training. So she's working on stuff like that. Here she's going to go out and pick up the pace a little bit again and show a little bit of where he's at here. 
So we always start things uh, kind of softly and slowly, build things up a little bit. There, our farms are really busy farms. So you can see we've got lessons and camp and stuff going on, even though he's training around doing his different uh, things that he's doing. So it's a lot to take in and he gets distracted and wants to kind of slow down and stop when the other horses are doing that. But riding around in that little bit of activity actually makes him more well-rounded because he has to learn to work with all of those other things going on and all of those distractions happening. Especially here, the kids had untacked or gotten off the horses and rolled up their stirrups. So he's thinking, can't we be done training like those other horses are done being ridden? So he gets a little bit on that lazy side and just needs that nudging and encouragement to just keep going. And Ali's doing a great job of making sure he rides past the whole group of horses and is doing those full circles and then then he gets his cookie. So just because we have expectations doesn't mean we're not going to give those rewards. We just want to make sure that he's trying before he's going to earn them. Here up and over the Liverpool, no problem. And of course, he's looking back to check in. All right, guys, my cookie, please. And then here he goes off uh, out showing a little bit more of his trot work, how much better that's come along towards the end of his uh, training. So by the end of the month, he was walk, trot, canner, steering pretty good at the trot and the canner. Not as confident as Huxley was, would do some obstacles, but still a little bit lucky at the arena doors and some of the other things in the arena. But overall, pretty easy to ride, pretty easy to work with. And this is after 30 days. So in 30 days, we don't typically teach them how to start to collect or lower their head or anything like that or start to have a frame or anything. It's usually walk, drop, canter, stop, back up, kind of moving their hips, maybe a little bit of sideways and stuff like that. And making sure that they're willing and trusting of humans so that way they're going to be happy partners when they go on to their new owners. And their new owners... Are, are not new owners, but their owners are always invited to come and watch the sessions. They can book a lesson to work with their horse afterwards as well. And we send them videos and updates during the training. So there's a lot that goes on in the month that their horses are here. And every horse that gets through the training program, they all respond in different ways and get to different levels of training so Benny here is doing his walk trot. Here's a little look at his halt. So you can see his work ethic has improved a lot. And the work ethic as well as that confidence to be able to go around the ring like that so many times and make the steerings through the center of the ring. And now he's just on the rail doing his backup. Of course, he's checking in to see, do I get my cookie yet? And it's like, yep, yeah, buddy, you can have your little cookie and then I'll just show you guys a couple clips of his canter. Huxley's canter was further along than Benny's when he was done his training. He was doing canter circles, whereas Benny is doing some canter, kind of going down to the end of the arena and is a little bit more sticky in those transitions. And that's because Huxley was more of a naturally go horse and Benny's more naturally a woe horse. And he tends to think that he works really, really hard and that he shouldn't have to go forward too much, but he really doesn't work that hard. He he works very little. Usually uh, training horses are five days a week, so they usually work Monday to Friday and then they have the weekend off. And the sessions were really reasonable about what we ask of them, knowing that they're new and they're just kind of getting started with all of this uh, stuff their backs aren't strong when you first start them under saddle. So you have to really build everything up a little bit. And Allie does ride him with the dressage whip. So that way she can kind of cue him with the stick a little bit rather than having to use her legs too much because Benny is just a little bit more on that lazy side. So having that extra little tap so you can tickle and still stay really secure in your leg has been really helpful for little Benny understanding what it is that we want him to do.
So that was a little look at his canter to the left, and I'll show you guys a little look at his canter to the right as well. And he he's walk trot canter, but yeah, not as far along as Huxley was. Just Huxley had a more naturally going uh, personality, which is easier to direct and show them what you want them to do, and was a little bit more naturally curious and brave than Benny. So you'll notice that as she's cantering around there, she's not bothering to try to push him up against the rail, just focusing on getting him going in the direction where she wants to go. And then as he gets more confident, he'll be able to go closer to the rail and not be so worried about the door and the other things that are over there, which he finds a little bit strange in our arena. Here's a little look at Allie just kind of being goofy and rubbing him all over. So he's doing really fantastic and this wraps up his 30 days of training that you guys get to see what that looks like. So thanks for watching.